everybody. I just want to say, hope everybody's doing good. Um, yeah, today we did that sky, so this wasn't too long ago. Just not done eating. Um, <clears throat> I always want to talk about, I don't know, sometimes I don't know what to talk about. I realize you can talk about these stories out of the Bible. And <clears throat> I always think of that story, um, you know, when Peter was on the water, him and his disciples on the boat, when Jesus was walking on the water, <coughs> Peter actually stepped out and stayed on the water. If he just kept his eyes on the Lord, he would probably walk on water close to him. But because he turned, looked away, and saw the lightning, and he had, he, he ended up for a hands falling to the water. You know, he, like what little faith he has if he, to believe he can walk on water. When Jesus came over to him and poured him up, I was like, what little faith do you have, Peter? And he goes, all you have to do, you know, if we just keep our eyes on the Lord, you know, you just have to always focus on the Lord. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. If you put your eyes on the Lord, you can fine. And I think I'm not telling you know, and um, if you watch the Bible series on DVD, you, you can read, you actually understand the stories out of the Bible more. Sometimes it makes you understand the Bible more better. Remember when the, that, that lady who had issues, 12 issues with the blood, and for 12 years she had issues with the blood, and she saw Jesus walking by, and she said, if she didn't touch Jesus' garment, she knows she'd be whole. And you know what? She touched Jesus' garment, and she got whole. And Jesus looked to her and said, who touched me? You know, a lot of times Jesus said, we know if you touch Jesus, he can be whole. Because, you know, Jesus had the miracles. He healed, he healed the disease. He healed the sick. You know, he, Lazarus, you remember that story of Lazarus when he was dead for four days? Jesus went over there and, you know, he raised the dead from, he raised the dead, you know. He had the power to raise the dead. And that man, if he came alive, you know, we don't realize that the stories, and not just the Bible stories, that really did happen. And 2,000 years ago, I was just reading in Exodus, and they had this pledge, you know, when Moses... You know, he talked to the burning bush. You know, God talked to him to the bush. And God does a go to Israel, let my people go. To, you know, um, he, said, he is the Lord, he's the God of Jacob, Isaac, and I guess. Moses was a famous servant to the Lord. He, uh, he went to the Israel, you know, they had the pledge, and he went to Pharaoh, you know. Pharaoh was so hardened before the Lord. He was so hardened, and they had this pledge for seven, what was it, ten pledges, you know? And like, you know, they have, like, each day there was, uh, something happened. One day, they had the, the water turned to blood, boils, lice, flies, disease, you know. One of the, 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 the pledge was, you know, there was like 10 pledge. There was a, um, like that. You can, I forgot, I just read it out of the Bible. And they had like, uh, the last pledge was the, the death after firstborn. You know, it's like, because his people didn't, and Moses keep killing so I was like, the Lord said, let my people go. You know, Moses had a word, and, you know, he was a faithful servant. He always obeyed the Lord. You know, you realize Moses was a faithful servant to the Lord. He went up to the mountain and talked to the Lord. He talked to God in the mountain. He went up to the mountain and he spent time with God. And that's even when he wrote the Ten Commandments is when he's on the mountain. He looked down and he see people had worshipped this calf. They was worshiping idols. And, you know, it made Moses mad because, you know, he was... It made him angry, you know. That you worship the true living God in heaven, not this idol. You know? 
you realize that these stories really did happen. And, you know, in the New Testament, like, Apostle Paul actually came against the Christians. And Jesus knocked him off the horse and had him blind. And he was blind until this, was it this man who Jesus talked to, you know, this Christian man. Who got, Jesus came to him and told him to go to Paul, and you know, to, you know he first to go. He was called to preach the nation, and he did. He got, he told him Paul. He was the Lord sent him, and he put his hands over that guy's eyes, Paul's eyes, and he got healed. He was able to see, and he baptized him. And after that, Paul became an apostle. You know, he became an apostle for like many chapters, and many half of the, the New Testament. And you realize that until you, you know, <clears throat> you can just read the stories and understand the Bible.